Minecraft. A game that everybody loves. Do people still like playing Minecraft? Hello the viewers, what's up? It is Vandermark tonight and welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing, of course, Minecraft, but I'm not just playing regular old Minecraft. I am on an SMP. And it's not my own SMP. <laughs> Today, I am on a SMP called Chaos is Near. And to give a quick rundown about this video, basically I'm just making my house, which is inside a mountain, and I get a tour at the end of the video. So that's really it. And when I first spawn in, I get stuck in a tree. And the first thing I do, of course, is run away from spawn and everybody else, chop down a piece of wood, got my planks, made a crafting table, got my tools, and started digging right inside the mountain. I also killed my first monster, which was a creeper. Of course, after gathering some supplies, I get right into digging more into the mountain. And at some point in time, I thought it was a really good idea to make a strip mine inside my house. So basically, I dug a good chunk of the way down and basically made my own little mine shaft just to, you know, collect materials. Um, also, this was here. One eternity later. Of course, this next bit is just me basically building, removing walls, making the main part of my house bigger and making it look a little better. And of course my pickaxe breaks a couple times because I'm mining, you know, mining out the stone so then I can turn into more stone and 
all that stuff. And at some point in time, I actually build my own bedroom. So this section here is going to be my bedroom, um, which is basically I dug out straight onto the other side of the mountain, um, which wasn't far because I'm still on top of the, kind of close to the top of the mountain. So that's that's basically all I did. And after doing some digging, uh, I realized that my house, or this main part of the room, didn't look symmetrical, and it was bothering me, so I fixed it. And after fixing that, I went out to the world to grab sand because I needed a lot of grass. Gl grass? Class. And now let's get into the fun bit. Basically making an outline for my bedroom. That, that was basically it. And at some point in time when I finished building uh, my bedroom, uh, I basically did some terraforming. I try to hide as much as my house as I can, you know, without blocking the windows, obviously. And I did a lot of terraforming, not only to my house, but also to the land around me. And you'll definitely see that later in videos. And at one point in time, I accidentally um, shaved a piece of wood, so I just did it to all of them to make it more sense. And then I had to kill another creeper. Oh, that didn't go well. Alright, now it's time to get a tour around this place. What? Why? Why are you? Why? Why are you? Why? So the first part is of course the spawn house and then we go up uh, this little waterway to, well, only one house and that is of course Box's house which is the house that we saw in the beginning of the video. Down here is, I believe, a Nightmare's house. Uh, I think that's whose house it was. And then, of course, we got a pirate ship there. There's a bakery. There's somebody's house. I think somebody lives in that big tree. This is the courthouse. We don't talk about the courthouse, okay? Then we go into this, like, I want to say it's like a uh, bread shop. I don't... <laughs> I don't really remember what this place is, and I haven't bothered to go back to it. Next is Dylan's house, which he kind of did the same thing as me, where he built into something and just made it bigger. Um, and he also has like his own little villagers here, so that's that's pretty cool. Crossing this bridge over here, there's some farms, uh, there's a sheep farm, like a massive sheep farm, 
there's uh, I think there's like a cobblestone farm uh, over in that area where you'll see there's also a sugarcane farm I believe I don't know what that other farm is but it's there um, there's also an iron farm a bone meal farm there's a cow farm as well uh, Garfield decided to come out of nowhere and hit me I don't I don't I don't know why they did that to me Anyways, here's the uh, cow farm that barely anybody use, a bee farm, there's also this moss farm, which is I have no idea how to use and I might use it later. Uh, a bamboo farm, which everybody basically uses for scaffolding, obviously. Um, then there's this another farm here, a sugarcane farm, and another wheat and carrot farm. Up here are two people's house, I forget whose, whose houses they are. Um, because it's been a while, okay? I recorded this back in January, leave me alone. Up the stairs, there's like some type of Christmas event. There's someone else's place, along with some sniffers, which is a very, very, very loud. Uh, this is Miz's house, I remember, because he's right next to a little statue there, uh, which is Tony the Tiger. And you look, Tony the Tiger. Next was this Chinese New Year's event, which will be in a later video, which is fully upgraded. And looks very very nice but that's what it looked like when i first spawned in and then there's spiraling tunnel that box is made and then of course there's the shopping district which basically there's an armor shop here like look at all this like these guys have been <laughs> these guys have been working and i mean working like god god damn like look at this stuff oh look garfield ow all right on to the flower shop all right, skipping over that, there's an ice highway, and that is the British Museum in behind it, which also got a bit of an upgrade. Now we're on our way to, uh, I think it was Arch's house. Yeah, it was, which we'll see more often in the videos because I accidentally built my shop kind of close to Arch's place, but that's okay. It's cool. It's fine. Next, we're heading over to Mango Town, which is honestly probably the greatest one of the greatest builds i'm not gonna say that because there's actually some really really good builds later on uh but this is really cool i love the vibe it's giving very medieval vibe like look at this like this is kind of more for uh trading villagers and stuff i believe um i <laughs> like i'm just amazed this 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 is amazing As we were passing through to go to someone else's place, we passed by a mob spawner, which is <laughs> did not realize that's what that was. And we go to, um, I honestly forget who lives here, but all I know, box it's in like the area because it wasn't lit properly. <laughs> As you can clearly see, there's only a few torches. Then there's this gazebo here, which honestly looks so beautiful. I love it. Like, look at it. It's so pretty. Then we head over to Garfield's place, which is they oddly enough started playing cat. <laughs> then we went over to the enchanting uh, house. I don't. I don't know, it was just kind of there. Then, this is the old post office. They do have a mailbox system here. So, uh, this is the old one. Uh, Box has updated the mailbox because that's basically one of her jobs is to deliver mail and also sell flowers. 
Now we're heading back over to the area where the British Museum is at to go see uh, the warden. Because the person who um, built this got a warden. And by God, this is probably one of the scariest creatures that I've ever seen in Minecraft. Anyways, that's the video. Bye!